First tonight at 11, this new video of a scary situation in Waldorf, Maryland. A helicopter crash lands in the middle of a neighborhood. It narrowly missed homes and a community pool. Thanks for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Drew Wilder. Now, all of this happened at about 10 o'clock this morning near Carthage Court. News Force Mauricio Casillas spoke to witnesses who saw it all happen and tell us what went wrong. Picture this. It's a calm Sunday morning here in this Waldorf, Maryland neighborhood. People getting ready to start their days and all of a sudden they hear a loud boom. Check that out. That's what it was. A helicopter crash landing in the backyards of several of these homes, startling those who live nearby. Just, I don't know, just baffled. It was, it was uh, very out of the uh, ordinary. It sounded like a tr truck collision to me on this side. My first thought was, did it hit somebody's house? A confusing and frightening scene for those who live in this neighborhood. Brandon Kober was in his house when he heard what he thought was a lawnmower, but when he looked right outside of his window, he was stunned. Helicopter is just spinning down and crashing right in the grass through the fence here. He immediately ran outside to help. He says the three people inside the helicopter were shaken up, but not seriously hurt. Shock, like my gosh like making sure everyone's okay first and foremost and then thank god like it wasn't any worse than than what it was okay? yeah we're okay thank okay. you mike taylor who lives on the other side of the crash recorded this video he was getting ready to go to the store with his son when all of a sudden the sound got louder and it sounded like you know something was crashing i happened to look uh here and i saw the the helicopter just before it touched the ground and it just this was a loud crash. The crew members told neighbors they were surveying power lines in the area when they heard some sort of pop that caused a malfunction. A crew from the power line inspection company Haverfield Aviation was at the scene. They declined to speak on camera but did say they were grateful everyone was able to walk away from the crash and that the collision wasn't more serious. Thank God, you know, cuz it could have been coming down straight on top of our house or into the side of another house like my kid could have been here, my wife could have been here, it could have came down while I was up there, and who knows. What this family does know is they've got quite the story to tell. I just think that is very unusual because I don't see a lot of things like this normally happen. The NTSB says it's collecting the wreckage and moving it to an inspection facility in Delaware. In Waldorf, Mauricio Casillas, News 4.